Hi. Hey. Um, can I share the bench? Um, sure. Okay. Can you move your stuff? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Finally got sent You want a bit? So, um... Someone killed your sister. But it wasn't me. Yeah. Yeah? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what you and your parents have gone through. I'm sorry for what I've gone through. I might as well be dead. You I know that? I, I don't need to hear your sad story. Okay? You're not dead. I could make you dead, though. Thought about that enough times. I know. Wait, say so you didn't kill her. I did it. Say it again. I didn't kill her. Say it again. I don't believe you. You know what? It obviously doesn't matter. Because what really happened that night has got to be completely besides the point. It doesn't matter that I didn't kill her. I don't think that I did anyway. Well, no one else has a motive. Yeah. I don't know. You're the last person to see her that night. God knows I'm not. I have to live with knowing you're out there, okay? I think about you every day. I think about you wearing sweat socks. I, I think about you taking your exam. I, I think about how every breath you take she belongs to my sister. Hey, I, I can't get you out of my head. I can't get you out of my fucking head. Janice. Don't touch me! You fuck! Shh, just, just listen, Janice. Don't. Just listen! I, don't come near me. I, I won't come over there. I, I won't. Just, just, just touch my hands. It would be in my hands. Whoever did that, it would be in their hands. You'd be able to tell. It'd be hot or something. I don't know. He stabbed her so many times, he will never get that out of his hands. Please, just touch my hands. You'd know. You know she wanted to have the baby? She told me. I didn't tell anybody in the hearing. Why? <laughs> I was messed up. She would have been terrific. I was messed up. I'm never going to know, am I? 
I'm going to feel like this forever. Do you have a religion? Yeah, I'm Catholic, sort of. It's good? Why? Because I'll go to hell. Because you'll have a judge. You know, she used to tell me that she thought you were the one. So how could you possibly know that? She said, because he's singular, he's unique. But I brought this hunting knife with me, but I don't want it, so you take it. certain someone stopped getting thrown in solitary, then another certain someone could come visit me. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> the doctor is in. Boy, is she ever. Very funny. Thought you might like it. So, how's everybody? Everyone's pretty much the same. How are you? Oh, great. Doing really well. I've taken up knitting. I know that sounds cheesy, but uh, I made something. Oh. Oh. Uh, wow. This is this is great. Thanks. Uh, I'll wear it often. Mm -hmm. Don't you think the handcuffs seem a little unnecessary? Are you kidding? They're uh, kinky, and you know me. <laughs> so, when are you getting up? As soon as I can say three simple words. Fire is bad. So. What's going on in your life? Not much. Uh, I'm failing three classes. I kissed Beethoven. And my sister decided that she's Wiccan this week. And what? Uh, Wiccan. It's like this weird, spooky goth thing. I don't really Did you kissed who? It's no big deal. We, we kissed at a party in front of everybody. <laughs> Although it wasn't the first time. No, wait, wait, wait. Slow down. <laughs> Beethoven? Skinny, dorky Beethoven that we all made fun of? Was it like a dare or something? No. So you just kissed it? I don't know where. Kinda. <laughs> Major parts of the story are missing, CB. What happened? Alright, well, the first time we were in the music room. At, at school? <laughs> yeah. We were talking, and, well, <laughs> actually, we were fighting, and then we were talking, and then I. I just kinda kissed him. <laughs> and the second time? Party at Marcy's house. Oh my god. I don't believe this. Is it really that hard to believe? Yeah. Why? Because you did something different. I mean, you, you've always been so predictable. Oh, great. Here I mean, we go. For a, gay, uh, for a straight guy to kiss a gay guy, I mean, that's something that's taught. <laughs> what if... What if I'm not straight? Well, offense, CB. <laughs> We had sex, too. Ex fucking excuse me? Yup, after the party we left and we had sex. Holy fucking shit, you're a homo, No, CB. no, just because I did something I wanted to do doesn't make me a homo. You gonna do it again? I don't know. Maybe. Do you have feelings for him? I don't know. My whole life I'm, <laughs> I'm worried about what people are gonna think. When we were younger, everyone, mostly you, told me everything I was doing was wrong. Good grief, it takes me an hour in the morning just to get ready because I'm, I'm so concerned about what people are going to say and I'm with him. I don't care what people are going to say. I just kissed him. So I guess this means we're not getting back together when I get out of here, huh? Oh, so now you want to get out of here, huh? Fuck yeah, I didn't realize what I was missing. Why'd you do it? What, burn the bitch's hair off? Yeah, tell me. Your hair is a symbol of innocence, and my lighter's a symbol of corruption. God made me do it. And the devil made me do it. And Charles Manson is so damn persuasive. Just be serious. Fine. I did it because I felt like it. 
That's no excuse. Wait! I was pregnant. So don't worry, it wasn't yours. I had just gotten an abortion the day before, and the next day in biology we were ironically learning about reproduction, and I was feeling sick to my stomach already, so I started zoning out on anything I can, and I started reading a note over Miss fucking puritanical fucking princess's fucking note. And she was telling her friend how she's so happy she's a virgin, she's gonna stay that way until she gets married, and she's so repulsed at the horse at our school. So, without thinking, I reached into my pocket for my cute little red thick lighter, and I set her cute little redhead on fire. And every day in therapy, they ask me if I'm sorry yet, and I just can't be. Right. Okay. Are you fucking with me again? Alright, well, visiting time is almost over, so I gotta go. Glad you came. Yeah. Me too. Uh, before you go, I guess I don't have to ask how everybody reacted. Well, my sister mouthed, I hope you died to me this morning, and clock is ticking from. <laughs> guess I gotta wait to school tomorrow to see how everyone else goes. Good luck. Thanks. Um, promise me you won't apologize? Oh, and the next time when you come back, if you could just stick a box of matches up your ass, I'd be your best friend forever. Uh, you already are. Hey, blockhead. Got your scarf. I did everything right. I know. Nine months without lime water. Everything you told me to do, why is it my fault? It's not your why fault. Why do I feel like it's my fault? Don't answer that. I, I don't want to see anyone ever again. Okay. I just want to sit here. Moss will grow up over my face like a burnt out moss. Moss will grow over the basement. And I'll just sit forever in this subterranean pocket of moss. And eventually it will get hard to breathe. And everything will be very green. But at least people won't be dropping by with casseroles. Morgan? What? The casseroles aren't people trying to be nice. It's a Midwestern thing, I guess. Nice? Fuck nice! I don't feel nice. I don't want anyone else to feel nice either. I want them to be miserable, more miserable than me. I know that I'm competitive, but this time, I want everyone else to win. Don't you have somewhere to be? Do you want me to go? I didn't say that. I just asked if you had somewhere to be. Don't. Don't answer that. I, I, I feel crazy. I'm sorry. Do you want some casserole? Yeah, whatever. Nothing. 
nothing that they can prepare for that I can prepare for better. They're preparing him to be buried. I... I want my fucking son. I, I never got to hold him. When they said, do you want to hold him, I, I... I was scared. I was scared of him.
a big, big empty space in the middle of the room. For now, yeah. I don't mind, actually. But this space can be free. So that's it then, huh? Don't look sad. It's not the end of the world. It's just a couch after all. Yeah, sure. So glad you came back to see my place. And wasn't that the scariest movie? Who would have thought? The uncle. The uncle living in the attic. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for a great date. And please thank your mom for setting us up. I can't feel my toes. I thought the chicken was very nice. Did you like the pasta primavera? I, I never tasted such great sauce. Really good stuff. I seem to be a slightly mobile. I love that shirt on you. Oh, you had to run me on your birthday to get you more shirts that color. I can blink, but I can do. I forgot. Blink. I bought you something. <laughs> Remember? Remember we passed that candy place on Flickr and you said this love delicious. <laughs> I bought it for you. I bought it for you, Avery. You know why I bought it for you? Because you passed that candy place on Flickr and you said this love delicious. And because I like you. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. Didi. Yes, is, boyfriend. Is there any reason why I can feel my body? Yes, future husband. And what's that reason, Didi? I slept you on a full intrazepam. Did I need a full intrazepam? Oh yes, future father to break my children, you definitely need a full intrazepam. Didi, what is a full intrazepam? It's a roofie. Is your co life insurance part and policy partner holder? What do you give me? <laughs> I'm volatilized! It's your standard depressant, only ten times more powerful than volume. This is horrible! This is horrible, this is having a horrible date! But we're growing closer. Closer? You gave me that date rape drug. I thought you were dumping me. Didi, you dumb a terrible thing. A completely immoral, unforgivable, disturbing thing. You want another suck of the lolly? I no. want to yell! Okay, do you know what's out there? The horrors? Oh no, when we get a guy who shows a little bit of caring or even a little friendship or even a little love, we hold on to it. I just didn't want you to leave me for someone who could offer you more. I, I wasn't interested in someone who could offer me more. I liked you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I like your your smile and your and your sense of humor. You have to to give this things time to grow. I know, I know. I should let it all run in its natural course, evolve like a true love affair. You pushed that. I guess I wore my emotions right on my sleeve. Get me my phone. I'm calling my mother. This is the last time I let her set me up with a psychotic. Can you, rude. can you open it? Can you please open it? Can you press one? Can you please press one? Can you hold it? Can you please hold it? Mom? Mommy, I can't move! Yes, Mom, I did, and I had a good time. I wanted to see her again, and also... Hello, Mrs. Madowitz. She says hi and ask how all the pasta primavera was. Oh, great sauce. Mom, how well did you know Daddy before you set me up with her? How desperate do you think I am? Huh? We are going to talk about this later, mother. Goodbye.
Can you hang up? Can you please hang up? <laughs> she wants to know if the roofie she sold you worked out all right. <laughs> I hope you told her it did. <laughs> the woman is a freak. I felt you pulling away, Avery. She said she, she wanted me to give you a shot. She said I always break up with girls without... Without what? Without letting things evolve like a true love affair. If I kiss you, will you pull away? How? <laughs> So, when does this stuff wear off? So, my hope. Is that enough for you to put your arms around me the next time we kiss? <laughs> Do you want to make some popcorn and watch a movie? The TV's in the bedroom. I don't mind going to the bathroom. It's our second date, Avery. <laughs> Are you suggesting that we make love? <laughs> well, we we don't want to rush things. We should wait until the drugs wears off. <laughs> You're so funny. Left and right and right and left. She probably would have been better off. I can't live like this. She's fine. She's sleeping. When she wakes up, you'll make her a whole macrobiotic, organic, holistic dinner, and all her little chakras will be realigned. This kind of is a fucking joke to you. No, it's not. It is! It's not! It's some kind of goddamn it's joke! Savage. All right! I've never been this sad. I mean, I give my kids lunch, I read her a story, I put her to bed, and my wife acts like it's the end of the world. Doesn't it feel that way? It was just a burger and fry. Not to me! <sighs> you wouldn't understand. I'm hooked up to her. Biologically hardwired or brainwashed or whatever to keep her alive. It drives me crazy. Even today, when I was in the shower with the water rushing over me and I couldn't see her or hear her, my heart races from not being around her. And the not knowing, it's all become so impossible. First, with planes running into buildings and color codes for terrorism, and I have ducked 
tape and water in the closet that you don't even know about. It's always there. In fact, even today, when I'm crossing the bridge to get the stupid carrots, I can only do what I can do. So I drive to the country. I find the woman with orange hands because I think that the earth is blessed, that the vegetables are holy, and that if I give them to my baby, if she eats them, then she'll be okay, and then I'll be okay. And then you come along and give her a Happy Meal and a milkshake without any milk in it. How am I supposed to keep her safe when you give her a milkshake without any milk? So, you think if she eats the carrots... You think it's fucked up. Come here. I'm doing the best I can do. I know. I am. So you go see the woman with the orange hands. I love you for it, I do. I have to do something. So do I. But I can't protect her from all the terrible things out there. I can just be the best parent I can be, so... I give her a few Happy Meals. At least that way I know if the world comes to an end, at least she got the prize. What? It's junk. The best I can do. Where are you going? I just had to see her. How does she look? Same. She looks the same. I think she looks happy. No, 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 no. Yes! Ah, no, no, that's not Stop a lie, mother! Yes, you did! Steph! Don't do not Steph me right now! Come on, Stephanie! Don't do that, you prick! Don't play Stephanie! Well, I didn't do say anything! I'm telling you the truth, and I definitely didn't use that word, so that's bullshit! I did it! I don't care what she said to you! I didn't say ugly! Bullshit! Bullshit, fucker! Come on, Stephanie! We barely mentioned you! That's all! In a nice way! Fuck you! Look, God, I just want to go to bed! I don't care what you want to do, dick! <laughs> this is just stupid, so look, I I'm gonna... Don't do it! Do not walk out of here when we're having a fight, or I will murder your face when you're gone. I I'll flush them, or I'll do whatever it takes, but I will hurt you, and you will not like it. That's what I'll do, so you better just stay right there. No, I don't want you to come over and pull me, God, no! But you better stay around and argue the shit out, or I'm gonna wreck your life a little bit. Swear I fucking will. I really didn't say that. I mean, did she say that I... What? You don't remember? <laughs> no, I mean, I was talking to Kenneth. We were laughing about stuff, about like, I don't know, work. I mean, come on, Steph, you know how we are when we get nothing. It's no big deal anything we said. Look, it's no big deal anything we said. She was in the kitchen, Greg. Door to the kitchen was open. Voices travel, they're made up of sound, in case you didn't know. What she said? I, I mean, that I said. Ken and I, we were out in the garage talking, and maybe we were a bit loud. Yeah! Fucking were! Tell me! Stephanie, I didn't say You anything. want me to say it? Okay, look, I don't, look, I'm not scared of you or about anything that I said, because it was no big deal. We had a few beers, and maybe we were a bit loud out in the garage when we were talking, but I didn't say shit! Tell me what you said. Okay. Look. I don't need to do this. You're crazy. Look. I'm gonna shoot. Fuck you, asswipe! <gasps> ah! You got a real issue with your temper there, Steph! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Okay? Or I'll call the cops. It won't be a neighbor this time, alright?
Bob, who just got hired. He thought she was hot, said she was pretty, and I agree. That's all, really. Yeah. And nothing about me? Ah, I don't think I said she did. <laughs> you didn't say anything about me compared to her. Nothing. No. No. <laughs> you got this part. I'm fuck it up now. No, I mean, what I said was. Look, I know what I said now. I said this, but it's like, okay, look, maybe Stephanie has a, got a face like that. Maybe her face is just regular. Oh. But I wouldn't trade her for a million bucks, you know? Oh. Something like that. I was regular. Just, yeah, you know. I was Yes, regular. Okay. See? I didn't say ugly. You I know just, what? Yep, that's what Carly said to me. You said those exact words. Alright then, which was not meant of any sort of comparison, it wasn't. Really? No? At all. Really? At all. It was more of like a, a point of contrast. With you, that's a good thing. Huh. Even though she's beautiful. Pretty stuff. Yeah. It was meant as a compliment. It was, honestly. I see. 